This is Bill Windsor. I'm reporting from the lovely grounds of the McKay D. Hospital in Ogden, Utah. Behind me, the sun is setting, and so I can't really get a picture of it right now, but there's a, a beautiful lake and a fountain and picnic tables and gorgeous trees and mountains behind us here that you can see. But right over here is the psych ward, and in the psych ward is a devout Mormon 51-year-old grandmother. Connie Fielding. She doesn't have any business being there. Connie was committed to this uh, psych ward here at the McKay D Hospital in Ogden, Utah. And get this, because she believes that they're, the government mistreats families and children, and she has a preoccupation with that belief. That means probably just about everybody watching this film may go to the psych ward, so be careful. This is the order that uh, was issued in the District Court of Weber County, Utah. It was issued on June 7th. Somebody named Blaine Hickman, who I understand is a would-be social worker, is the one who swore out this affidavit. And uh, he believes that, he states that he believes Connie Fielding is mentally ill. And he said, such belief is based on the following facts. Connie was brought to the emergency department by a religious leader, concerned for her health and mental stability. She was evaluated by the crisis worker and admitted to psychiatry. Since admitted to psychiatry, the affiant has received phone calls from various family members and friends who describe a history of delusional preoccupation with government conspiracies to take children from their homes and give them to bad people. Resources have expressed concern for her well-being and for others. As Connie has stated that it is, quote, her mission from Christ, Christ, unquote, to expose these conspiracies. Resources indicate that she has made references to hurting others. Quote, I have guns and I'm going to need them, unquote. Quote, people will have to grieve before they can heal, unquote. When told that she was going to be filed on for commitment, she told the affiant, You'll be excommunicated for this, referring to his membership in the LDS Church. Quote, I've been in touch with Elder Holland and he will not stand for this, unquote. Quote, who are you getting your orders from, unquote. Quote, are you getting a bonus on the side for this? Shame on you, unquote. So this guy signs it, and so what does a judge do? A judge slaps her uh, here. And on Friday of this week, there'll be a hearing to determine if they're going to commit her permanently or for some period of time. Um, I've known Connie now for a couple of years through the Facebook, through email, through Lawless America. And she seems like a pretty sane lady to me. I just met with her for about 20 minutes and she didn't, she, she, she's not crazy. I asked her point blank, I said, Connie, are you crazy? She said, no, I'm not crazy. I said, do you have any crazy thoughts? I asked her about the things in this order and she said, well, almost all of it's not true. Uh, she, she totally admits that she is uh, concerned with government conspiracies to take children from their homes and give them to bad people. And we all know that that happens. Uh, the lawless America people know that it happens all the time. And I've interviewed hundreds upon hundreds, probably close to a thousand people at this point about essentially this very issue. So it's, uh, you know, it's true. So we shouldn't be going around committing people uh, for things that are true. Uh, Connie has never, uh, been treated for any mental illness whatsoever in her life. She's 51 years old. As I said, she's a devout Mormon. Uh, she's on no medication whatsoever. She doesn't take any medication. But they're trying to give her Respiradol. Now, Respiradol is pretty serious uh, a psychotic drug, and she keeps refusing it. Now, that will probably get her in trouble because one of the five grounds, and they only have to meet one, one of the grounds that would allow them to commit her is if she refuses treatment. So I'm sure they're gonna nail her, uh, nail her for that. Um, let's see, I asked Connie some questions. Um, whoops, she doesn't have any guns. I dropped my papers, so Connie gave me all kinds of things that she wrote on little pieces of paper with a little tiny pencil. Uh, by the way, when I went in, they essentially, they did everything but strip me. They uh, made me take everything out of my pockets, uh, Made me leave my camera, made me leave my phone, which has a recorder, even a pen. Couldn't even take a piece of paper in. 
everything out of my pockets and then they wanded me and then I was finally allowed to go in. Visiting hours, supposedly for an hour, I was given 15 minutes. Um, they have put Connie into a, a the, the most high security aspect of their psych ward. She has had her phone privileges taken away from her. And presumably this is because a lot of people have been rallying to, to her aid. Uh, she owns no guns. Um, she doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, never has, never had been diagnosed with any mental illness. Um, she has maintained her standing in the LDS church, which requires that you not drink and smoke and do all kinds of other things. Um, they're planning to force her to take the medication, and there's a hearing Friday at 8.30. Um, this woman shouldn't be here. I mean, it, it, what, what, what I believe has happened, and, and I haven't had a chance to research this yet, so let me just say that this is you know, preliminary on my part. But from talking with Connie and from some other people, I think that they don't like the fact that Connie is a whistleblower. Connie has a lot of information about wrongdoing in the family courts and in the courts in general here in Utah. She's talked with a lot of people. She has a lot of friends as a result of the fact that she's become an advocate for others as well as fighting her own battles. And um, I believe that's why she's here. And I believe they'll say and do anything. I also believe it's very possible, possible, that this is a, a money scheme as well. Um, I haven't researched that, so let me just say I just believe that's a possibility. Uh, information has been provided to me that uh, would indicate that this hospital has been investigated before for this type of thing, where it's a you know a money-making scheme. Now, the truth of the matter is. Um, you commit somebody to a mental institution and guess what? Somebody gets paid a whole bunch of money to take care of that person. Uh, it's kind of like putting kids in foster care. Folks get paid for the foster cares. Somebody gets paid, the CPS people get paid for taking them away. Too much of what we have in our life is, uh, uh, is a financial racket. Uh, you know, the entire legal system is a great big slot machine and all they have to do is pull the handle. And uh, this is just one aspect of it. Connie Fielding seems to me to be a perfectly sane, sweet woman who is simply trying to do the same kind of things I'm doing, and that's to expose the corruption that we have. So I would say to the judge, whoever it may be, you're damn right that the government is uh, taking children from their homes and giving them to bad people. And uh, I don't know if the Mormons say damn, but I just felt like it was needed to emphasize that point. Bill Windsor reporting live from just outside the psych ward at the McKay D. Hospital in Ogden, Utah.